Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio, and yes, I'm here with a voiceover because my husband has hearing loss in one of his ears. The TV is super loud, and sometimes I can hear it through the walls, which appears in my YouTube videos. So today I decided to go ahead and just do the first half of the video with a voiceover. All right, so what you're seeing is a Coptic stitch book with Tantone paper in it. And I did little um, samples of different um, watercolor brushes and decided that what I would do is I would just make a little um, a little design and then I would take a white gel pen and write over them to see how well they do. And I think they did pretty well. I didn't finish uh, at the first part of this video. They're not completely finished. I was, if you can see in the corner at one point, I'm sorting through my receipts to see how much I spent <laughs> at different stores when I was away on a vacation. And um, I was a little bit shocked <laughs> at how carried away I got. This year was a year that was supposed to, well, this year was supposed to last for a whole year of not buying art stuff unless you're replacing something. And we decided that because a group of us were getting together um, in October that we would curtail that. And then we were going to see each other again in North Carolina at the... Um, Art of Carolina shows that Jerry sponsors, Jerry's Artorama sponsors, and we wanted to shop during that, and thank goodness we did because I had a ball. All right, here are these creamy crayon things. I do not own any distress sticks. I don't have any creamy crayons like these whatsoever. These are silky water soluble gel crayons. And I'm showing you how much the tip is open when you get it. And they are like butter. They go on so smooth. They're full of pigment. And they do really well when you use water on them, which I'm doing now with a, I think I'm using a Pentel um, water brush. I really like these crayons. Um, since I bought these and did this little demo, I have used the crayons on numerous projects. And I really do like them. The funny thing was is that I bought them in a discount store while shopping in Austin. Um, and I could not help myself. I just had to have these things. They are so wonderful. I also, the ones where I have the white over them, the gel pens over them, those were uh, watercolor brush pens that I also bought in Austin that were very inexpensive and I was trying them out and I love them too. They were wonderful. So I have all a whole bunch of new pens and water brushes, watercolor brushes to play with now in different videos. Look how nice that goes on. I'm just crazy about these, these um, crayon, water crayons. I think they're great. I don't see any downside to them whatsoever. As you can see, I just keep going and going and I'm watching a TV program while I'm doing this. That's why I also I did the voiceover because my husband was watching TV that was really loud in the other room and I was watching something on court TV and decided y'all did not need to hear that foolishness. So that's why we do, we're doing the voiceover today. And you know, I don't really do these very often because I really just don't know what to say. The pink is not as thick as some of the other colors, but the purples and the blues and the greens, they were luscious. They were so creamy and wonderful. They're full of pigment. And I just really like them. And you don't really waste them. Like, you know, watercolor, when you would use watercolor, you leave little puddles of it everywhere on a palette or on a glass board where you mix stuff up. And this, that doesn't happen. So there's really not 
a lot of waste with these at all. So I, I just was very happy with them. I can't remember. I paid. How much did I pay for those? I already shred the receipts. Because that was the end of October when I bought those. Um, I think I paid less than seven dollars for those. And the watercolor, the watercolor brush pens, I think I paid about seven or eight dollars for also. Okay, I think what I might do is just let this go for the rest of the time. And maybe add a little bit of music. And then the, the other talking will start. Well, it's a, it's a product review and it's kind of a, a rant because I was upset about something. <laughs> All right, maybe a couple seconds of music. Okay, so I want to add on to this video because the first part where I talked about the um, Rainbow Creations watercolor brushes and the, let's see, these are the Silky Water Soluble Gel Crayons from Creative Inspirations, these right here, and then I had, you know, more on the back. These are Stabilo Woodies. I will do this another day. So I was working on an, this abstract piece here to post on Instagram, which has already been posted. And I want to give you a tip about when you do a piece like this and you walk away from it for months and then come back. Put yourself a sticky note on here. What exactly kind of pen you used? Because I thought that I used the Jelly Roll pen, but 
that was not it. I used the Signo Uniball. So I don't know if you can see on camera, but there's a big difference in the blackness. This is one pen. This is the other. And I am not thrilled with myself for not finishing it when I started, but it was a lot of coloring in. So next time I do a piece this large, I'm going to put a post-it note on here, used my uh, jelly roll, black jelly roll, or use the Stabilo, I mean um, the Signo Uniball pen. I need to leave myself a note because I have so many black pens that if I start with one and finish with another, there are variations in the black. And it drives me crazy because now this is really black through this section here. And then all this is a different pen. Dum, dum, dum. Okay, so now that we know I can't remember anything I start with, <laughs> I'm going to go on to the next thing. So I was away at the Art of the Carolinas show that is uh, sponsored by Jerry's Artorama. And while I was there, I bought a cube of pens. And this is what... There were all kinds of colored pens in the cube. I gave away all of the shiny sparkly ones and I kept the ones that I like the best, which are basically the, that's not it, basically the um, non-shiny stuff. All right, so because I was so excited about finishing this, I decided to start another one. Um... I am so disappointed, it's not even funny. Oh, sorry about the cat. There are lots of variations of the purple colors that were not shiny. And they all have like, you know, the colored... Oh, they look blue in the camera, but they really are pur variations of purples. Yeah, it looks like blue. Anyway. So I picked out one, this one, that I really liked. What really made me mad is that this is all the ink I got out of it. That's it. I, this stuff right here was me testing other purples to see if I could match this one. No, there were not two of this in the package. There is only one purple that's this purple in the whole box, and there were like... Uh, there must have been at least 125 pens in there. Uh, and I'm not happy. Not only that, but if you're going to buy, and this is by Creative Inspirations, don't start something like this unless you have two pens because here I am stuck. I have no other purple pen. I even looked at the jelly rolls to see if I could match them up. No, they do not match. I tried... Um, one of the, uh, what's it called? These um, Signos, the colored Signos, no, doesn't match. Uh, the Arteza pens, no. And so here, on, here I am now with a piece I cannot finish. And this is the reason why. If you look at these pens, what do you see? More important, what you is what you don't see. You don't see ink that goes all the way up. I know. If my pen had been full, and this one's completely empty, this is the one I used, it's like dead. If they would fill up their pens all the way up, that would be most helpful, but they don't. I like the colors, I like the smoothness of the writing of the balls, but what I don't like is that they do not put enough ink in their ink pens, you're only getting this much, and then this much is empty still. Okay, so let me show you. Let's see, do I have any of these guys? Even jelly, jelly pens don't fill theirs up all the way either. Look at that. I don't think I've ever used this pen before. And that, to me, that is very irritating. I'm paying for a pen, and then I'm not getting all the ink in it that I want. Look at these. 
These are brand new that I bought at the Jerry Show. Well, these two are not, but these three are, or four are. Look, they don't fill the pens up. When did pen companies stop filling up the pens? What, two thirds is full? No, it is not. You're paying for space, you don't get ink. Makes me crazy. Although jelly rolls, at least the upside, if jelly rolls not going to fill them up all the way, at least they make enough in the colors that I can order a box of black jelly roll pens or a box of white jelly roll pens. Really is aggravating as an artist to think you're going to start something and finish it. You know, if this is not, this is a five by seven page and um, pen's, pen's dead. And I'm not done. Well, I guess I am now because I, I don't, I don't have ink. Even, let me see if I can see one of these that I've never used before. Um, I've used this one. I'm trying to look to show you ones that I have not used. All right, there's one. There's the gold in the uh, Signo Uniball colored. Look, all that is empty. Oh, well, uh, here empty. I know that they put some kind of a gel or some kind of a sealer on top of the the ink. It's probably about a half an inch thick or deep in the pen and they put that on top of the ink to keep the ink from evaporating. I understand that but then put it that stuff at the top one half inch here and give me the rest of the ink. Come on. Why? Why? I mean, it, it's just, I started a project and now I, I'm, I've tried all these other purple pins that I laid on the desk. Look at that, this and through here. None of them match the one I've already started. Now what? Now what? So if you buy the Creative Expression product, all the pins in that giant cube, and you can get them through um, Jerry's Artorama, just keep in mind that no two purples are alike and you're not going, it, the cap may look like they're the same color, but they're not. Look at that. I did Sam, I, I wrote these out on here and I cannot get one to even match this so I can finish this page. Buyer beware. If you're going to buy products and you're gonna start something like that, don't just buy one if they have open stock, which I don't think they do of these, um, if you're going to buy something for a project, buy a backup just in case. Because it is really aggravating to put hours and hours in drawing the lines, thinking about the design, coloring it in, and then you can't finish the darn thing because it ran out of ink. Do I sound disgusted? I am. All right, so here are... Um, two pens that were gifted to me, these are Arteza um, ink pens. I am, some of the balls on these are better than others. Not crazy about these pens. Like this one, it's hard to roll it on the same surface. I just rolled the other one. The, I don't know if the size is not right. I don't know if it's not flowing correctly, but it doesn't give as good a coverage as the purple does. And all of them that are the Arteza or hit or, hit or Miss. Now see this one is in between these two with the coverage. It's just not, this is a nice thick coverage. This is thin and sparse and this is a little in between. It just depends on, I think, what color you get. I don't understand why it should be like that. See, now this one's more like the purple. Takes no effort to cover up the space. These two were harder. I don't understand. Why? Why is it like that? All the balls should be the same. This one is pretty good. See, and these are all Arteza ink pens. I don't... I don't oh, that one's going to be sparse. And now the balls stop rolling. See? These, I, I wouldn't... To be honest with you, I know Arteza has been good to a lot of artists by giving their products to promote, but honestly, 
I'm thinking my I'm I'm very thankful I did not pay for these because I would not have bought these knowing that it's hit or miss about how much coverage you're going to get on it. And since you can't see how much ink is in here, I don't even think you can take the pen apart. Can you take? Oh, you can take it apart. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, look. So you remember I told you they put a liquid in here. You see that funky color stuff right here? That's to um, help your ink not um, evaporate. Something just fell on the board. All right, so anyway, this is just like a regular ink pen. And then they put that liquid in there to force it down. And it goes down with the ink. And um, the barrel on this is a lot more round than some of the other pens I use. But if the ball doesn't roll well, that doesn't matter how much ink I get in here. If I can't get it to come out, it's useless. So there's the Artezas, and I'm really glad that my friend gifted these to me, but I'm not crazy about these pens. And I would not do any kind of major coloring in one color with them because I have a feeling the same thing that happened with this one would happen with the Arteza pens. Okay, so um, I will come back and do another one where I, I bought some more um, Stabilo Woody pens, these guys. Wait a minute, if I can get them out of here. I bought some more of these at um, the art show. I had six. One, two, three, four, five, six colors. And then um, I bought five more. There are 12. There was one they didn't have, and that was like leaf green. The only other green that I got was this one, which is the lime, which I didn't have before. But I will fill this out and use the water on it and then use a dry sponge method with it so you can see the difference in the coverage. That will be in another video. So I hope you enjoyed hearing my critique. And I, I know I sound really irritated, but to me, it really, really is irritating when you start something and you think there's enough ink in the pen, never realizing there's not. There might be if you didn't color it in, but that's not what my project was. So now I know that I cannot use these to do long-term coloring projects. I'm gonna to have to stick to my jelly roll pens where I know I can replace them with the same color I'm currently working on. So that's about it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the samples that I did. This is just um, a Coptic stitch book that I did a while ago that I have things in it. Oh yeah, the post-it notes are the notes on the pages that are not finished and I leave them on there to remind me I need to finish what I started eh. which you know <clears throat> might not happen <laughs> all right guys thanks everybody for watching please like share and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye